Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. So I am so late with my October journal prompt page spread. <laughs> um, so I haven't even finished it. Instead of me just sharing what I've done, I'm going to actually finish it on camera as well. How about that? <laughs> so let's have a look at what I've done so far for those who are new to my channel. Um, I did for this whole year a journal challenge. So every month there was a different prompt and I have been filling out my page spreads for each prompt along with some other people from the Willow Bound Journals community. And here's just a look at what I've done so far. This was the prompt from September. And now I am looking for my prompt for <laughs> October. So as you can see, I don't necessarily go in order of the pages. I just choose whatever looks like it will fit. So I chose this page spread for the October prompt, which is home, because it has these hearts on it, and home is where the heart is, right? So that's why I did that. There's always a meaning behind this. And I like this one too, because it's got the wood. And I lived at Lockwood Road. <laughs> so that represents that. And it was a very kind of earthy place to live, um, in that lots of people um, were always uh, got the chainsaw out or the brush cutter or the mower um, there's lots of trees around so we weren't in the suburbs we were more in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne in Australia Victoria Australia um, so lots of you know the next door neighbors had a gully running through their um, yard and I used to go play by the creek uh, and this is a picture of the childhood home and this is actually a double um, on my Patreon, I've actually gone through a whole bunch of my photos of my childhood home and went down a walk down memory lane as I shared some stories and memories, if you want to check that out too. <laughs> um, but basically, I'm going to put this here. So I just need to cut it down to size a little bit. And yeah, I'll talk about everything else I've journaled about on this page as well. So I need to cut that down considerably. Let's get that out of the way. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to use my dot liner to glue it down. Let me just sit down so I can get closer to this. Good old Kodak, Kodak photos. And that will just go here. <laughs> Hi, Keanu. <laughs> That's my cat. <laughs> um, so I really like how that looks there um, and I chose this picture because not only is it a double but you can kind of get a feel for the house two-story house there's the carport um, and this is the front of the house the front yard where the willow is and willow bound journals that's where it gets its name from and that was my symbol of the house um, my sanctuary my safe place my castle my home uh, it will, this whole house, I love it all. It's my childhood home. I lived there for my, uh, well, until I was 19. So, yeah, all my childhood was here and lots and lots of memories. It formed me, which I'll get into in my, in my journaling later. But first of all, what have I done in this page spread? Basically, I stuck this picture here from Denise of this lady reading under the tree and the gardens and there's this dog next to her. Uh, books for me feel like home. Going into bookshops, libraries, it feels like home. Also lecture theatres because <laughs> I'm a bit of a study freak. Uh, so what do they have in common? I was just looking at that. Both, you know, lecture theatres and books, it's about learning. I love learning. It's so fun. I love gaining new insights, new knowledge, new wisdom, seeing things from other people's eyes learning a new perspective i love all of that i love the imagination so now i'm talking more and more about books here but 
It allows me to imagine, go to different places, different times, different worlds even maybe. Um, they give me inspiration. They give me connection. You know, I, I connect with the author. I connect with the characters. If it's fiction, it's of course just generally escapism, <laughs> pure fun escapism. But also on a deeper level, I love that it changes thoughts, behaviors, and life. Books really can change your life. And the same thing, I guess, with you know, if you're studying a course at uni. Um, it really does open your eyes to a whole other world, which is what I found when I went to uni, <laughs> as you learn all these different ideas and concepts and things. Um, and for me, it's also a relief and a joy. You know, it gives me my rest and I just enjoy it so, so much. And also gives me a sense of wonder and awe. You know, when I learn something new, when I read a book or when I'm in a lecture theater, learning a lecture, <laughs> uh, listening to a lecture, you know, it's just like, oh, wow, something I didn't know before. <laughs> and so much more awe. Like, the more there is to discover about the world, there's so much to discover. Um, and each time I discover something, it's like, wow, <laughs> it just sparks something. So, uh, oh, and I put it on the library card, date loaned. So, you know, book, library card. <laughs> Over here, I just included this piece from a journal that Tina gave me. The Secret Garden, um, yeah, that connects with that movie, the book. Um, it connects with my mum because she loved to garden. So at her house, we always gardened together. And I love the key that unlocks the door to the Secret Garden, how ornate and fancy it was. So that kind of reminds me of that and that connection to my mum's house. And also just in general, my dad's house too. He loved um, gardening and flowers. And who doesn't love flowers? <laughs> um, just so pretty and all that kind of thing. So then over here, I just wrote about the Weeping Willow and how it was my favorite place, my place where my imagination could run wild. It was a place of magic and wonder, but also my own place of safety and a sanctuary. And yeah, for me, that will always have my heart, the Willow, the same way that my childhood home will, Lockwood Road, we just called it, we just called it Lockwood Road. <laughs> also, it was named Holton Lodge. My friends called it the mansion because it was um, a really big house <laughs> with lots of rooms. And I called it my playground. You know, we went on mattress rides down the staircases. There were two staircases at either side of the house um, and we would have races down them. <laughs> um, but my room in particular in that house was my sanctuary. It was my place that I could decorate it myself. Like the room, my walls are kind of like a journal because I would stick pictures on there. I would stick jewels and diamantes and um, different things on my walls. So my walls were like a giant scrapbook. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just loved it. It was an open house too. So talking more about the culture of home, it was this place where my dad, he's like the friendliest, most welcoming person I know, um, and with a gift of hospitality. And we always had, you know, people over for dinner. And in the course of my time living there, we had 11 different people live with us. And I loved it. We would have big parties there because it was a big house. We often had parties at our house, um, Christmas parties, birthday parties, all that kind of thing. Um, and so it was just a place that reminds me of just people full of life, full of joy and laughter and um, people getting along. And this little story here kind of captures it for me, essentially. Um, <laughs> our postie <laughs> he would let himself into the house even when no one was home and he would just make himself a cup of coffee sit at our bench and read the new paper while he had his coffee and yeah that was kind of fun like that he felt safe to do that and comfortable to do that sometimes I would be at home and he, I wasn't scared or anything at all I was just like oh yeah there's the posties come in to have his coffee and I love that that was just our house so I um kind of just that's what I grew up with. There's always people around. There were always dinners and parties and, well, not always parties, but regular enough for me to remember a lot of them <laughs> or quite a few of them. Anyway, um, and yeah, I just loved it. I loved it. I really loved it. <laughs> uh, this, I put it in here because it says the willow. It came in through the blue butterfly challenge. So I will probably actually take this out and put it into my blue butterfly journal. So, but I just put it in here for now for that connection to the willow. 
and then yeah I put a heart and heart paper here again just to represent home is where the heart is and this time I like how this is notebook paper kind of thing so it looks like journal paper to represent what I've written here my notebooks and journals feel like home uh, they are a safe place where I can be myself where I know I won't ever be judged or rejected or laughed at or misunderstood so that's why I've got that there and this in fact this paper that I've um, written on is from one of my notebooks in my collection so that's why that's there everything's significant <laughs> everything has its place and I like as well this it's significant too because you know I love the flowers I love the butterflies this washi tape comes from Karen shows it because of the flowers this washi tape with the blue hearts again I'm a blue girl blue is my feels like my home and home is where the heart is so that's how everything ties in there I'm not sure if I even need to write anything here because I've captured kind of three types of homes my notebooks and journals my childhood home the willow oh four types of homes and books and lecture theaters so I've kind of covered everything um, I don't know blank space is fine and maybe I do want that blank space to represent you know the wood and the earthy nature of our home living in you know the forest almost <laughs> like Sherbrooke forest was next to us we lived in the Dandenong so that means we lived in the sticks <laughs> people called it all the bush with lots of trees everywhere so that's why that represents that and has meaning for me so that is my page spread hope you like it and I'll be back I'll just post the next video straight away with the prompt for November so that people who want to do that page spread can get it in um, or know what it is so they can think about it and have time to do their page spread as soon as they can anyway so <laughs> I hope that was fun watching that um, and yeah I look forward to seeing your own page spreads for the November prompt I'll link below my playlist where you can check out the stories behind all the other page spreads I've done and I'll also link the playlist to the previous prompts if you want to join in with those or catch up with those or just see why I chose them and my heart behind them like everything I do um, here like I I am very much about living intentionally so I'm thinking about why I'm choosing this prompt why it means something and um, how I think it may encourage or inspire you guys like I'm thinking of you too so <laughs> um, yeah awesome thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye